Every year, the high celebration in Bayreuth with drama and music. Richard Wagner consecrated himself with it for the first time in 1876. Since then, the Wagner family has continued to produce the biggest private music festival in the world. The performances are sold out. Richard's grandson, the 77-year-old Wolfgang Wagner, is without a doubt satisfied. The festival director's son, Gottfried Wagner, would probably be standing here too if he had not asked too many questions ever since his childhood in the troubled villa. Why did our family call Hitler Uncle Wolf? Did he want to marry grandmother? Why is Mein Kampf written on the family stationery? Anyone who asks questions like these is disowned, since the fathers and mothers in this family rule like Caesars. Even before he became famous, the great ancestor wrote, from now on, there are only two groups of people left, the one that follows me and the one that opposes me. I will lead the one to happiness, the other I will trample over, crushing it, for I am the revolution, I am the life that eternally creates. I am the eternal God whom all creatures acknowledge. So Wagner has created something which penetrates the body. He wants a music that uh, uh, that penetrates the body and overcomes rationality. And here again, you have a very old Christian tradition which he uh, uh, which he links on. It's quite typical for Wagner that he does not describe precisely what he means with redemption and the redeemer. It's always very vague, but it is a context of the work itself, the biography and his theoretical writings, which makes it very clear. First of all, and that is evident, that is redemption from Judaism. On the other side, which is not so known and not so understood until now, is of course redemption from the woman. And this uh, combination, you know, makes in the end the heart, the center of Wagner's ideology. <laughs> 